What's up, y'all? I have just come off the end of a night shift, but I couldn't go to bed without watching Once and Always first and letting you guys know exactly what I thought of it. I'm going to try my best not to spoil it, but there is so much and I'm so excited that I might drop a little bit of a spoiler in. If I do and I ruin it for you, I'm so sorry. I'm just so geared up because I've just finished watching it. And you better not waste time because this thing kicks in and it kicks in straight away. You've got them fighting the new Rita robot. And then, oh my God, I'm not going to spoil it, but the twist at the start, insane. The whole thing is like a massive tribute to the Yellow Power Ranger, to our Trini. And your boys, Zack and Billy, two of my favorite Power Rangers, are integral to the story. They obviously couldn't use all the original Power Rangers. Unfortunately, Tommy and Trini's actors are no longer with us. And Kimberly and Jason, they kind of don't get rid of them. They kind of move them to the side and bring in other old Rangers like Rocky um, to fill in their gaps. But you don't notice it. It's still amazing. It's still the old Power Rangers. That's what I can't get over is how much... This still feels like the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. In 2023, you've got the Putty Men, you've got Rita, you've got Slizzard, you've got Billy's souped-up, pimped-out Volkswagen that friggin' flies. No word of a lie, there is a moment when the Power Rangers are fighting Putty Men in Ernie's Juice Bar in Angel Grove, and I was just like, that music hit, that guitar riff, and I was like, what year am I in? Is it 1993 all over again? I couldn't believe how much it felt like the original series. And the story. I don't want to get into too much detail about the story because I don't want to ruin it for you. But it deals with some emotions, you know. My boy Billy goes through it. Obviously, you kind of know that Trini's not around anymore. And it's her, her daughter who takes on the Yellow Ranger mantle. And yeah, it's not just kicking ass and funny jokes. There is a bit of emotion in this one. I'm not going to lie. And speaking of emotion, the way it ends, just have the tissues ready, okay? The series wraps up, they beat the bad guys, as you know, and then there's a little flashback to the original Power Ranger cast, and they're there singing, and then there's a little tribute at the end to, to a Trang who played uh, Trini and Jason David Frank, who played Tommy. Um, and I'm not going to lie, little tear rolled down my cheek, goosebumps and my hair stood on end, because I love those guys so much. Now, this video was never going to be a 20-minute review on everything that happened and all that. For one reason, I've just got in from work. I am knackered. I'm going back to bed for a couple of hours because I've got another night shift tonight. But I had to watch Power Rangers once and always. I couldn't put it off. And I just had to tell you guys how excited I was. If you love the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, get on it tonight. When you get in from work, make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and watch this. It is insanely good. This week has really been insane for me because I still love the Power Rangers. And I still watch Power Rangers, but going back, doing the top 10 favorite Power Rangers list, watching once and always, it's just reaffirmed how much this is a great show and how much I love it. Right, I'm going to bed. I'll be dropping that Unpopular Opinions video later this week and we'll have a new top 10 favorites coming up. G out. I love you guys. Take care.